Any uh, new instructional videos, any proper ones anyway, for a little while. Uh, partly because I've been really busy at work, I've been getting other jobs on the side, and uh, me and the guys are sort of full on building the boat now. The design is based around um, our interpretation of some brutalist architecture that we've been looking at. Uh, and on the boat we're going to build a kind of puppet of a, of a swan. Um, these, are the, these are the legs of the swan. They will stay submerged in the water and close up like this to reduce drag when they're being pulled one way. And open up like that when they are pushing water and the boat forward. I haven't been making an instructional video of this as such, uh, but I have been keeping um, a record of photos along the process, so I will be compiling a montage together and doing a voiceover, just explaining some of the processes that we went through. Um, what I will do in this video is just show you um, us testing out the maquette, um, which the boat is designed on. So we kind of work building test for our ideas and and then building the there, there, there. <laughs> Wow. It's floating a bit to the front. Yeah, why is it leaning forward? I guess well, I guess because it has less buoyancy and, and the same amount of weight to the front. Yeah, the pontoons are up at the back, but not <laughs> at the front. It's like the opposite of how a boat should be, really. That probably weighs roughly three quarters of a kilo. Well, that's going to be half of our weight. Five litres. That weighs as much as all of us. No, no, probably plus this. This is the entire weight. Okay. Um, what happens if you go all on one side? Oh, Scariness. No. <laughs> I wonder if I could sort this out. Like, what's that? Johan... What's his face? He makes those kind of mechanical sculptures that walk, walk on the beach. Oh, yeah. Oh, him, yeah. Theo Janssen. Theo Janssen, that's it. Yeah, it's just this toe here. He's making it not close properly. Ah, I think I can see the problem. Do I just hold it so it doesn't, like, smash itself? That would be a shame. Operation. Yeah, just need to cut half its foot off. Didn't know you were a vet. <laughs> <laughs> that feels like it's working a lot better than those sort of... I think it was just kind of tightening up a bit too much around there. I guess the bamboo might swell a little bit eventually. Yeah, yeah, it's just like the joint is running all right. It was just kind of creating a bit of tension here. Mm. Yay! Wow. <laughs> this is so fucking mental. It is mental. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's still not quite doing it on that left foot. There we go. <laughs> it's like we've got a actually got a swan trapped in there now, it's amazing. Okay, I'll try it another go. We, should we do have plenty of buoyancy left at the back of the boat if we want to attach something like this on. That actually looks amazing. Yeah, it actually looks like when, when it's like that, it actually looks like real feet. <laughs> Christ, maybe we should make this. I don't know how it would... Uh... It would look amazing full size though. Just imagine. 